Hey everyone, how's it going? Devloon here. And today we're going to do something a little different. Mm -hmm. So normally we beat maps and I show you the best strategies to beat a map. And I will get back to that probably tomorrow. But today I just want to do a quick short video on monkey knowledge. I realized in my last video I told you guys that I wasn't going to use any monkey knowledge because I felt like I was being cheap and cheating and I wasn't um, showing my less experienced players and users of my videos. I wasn't showing them the strategies correctly because let's say they didn't have as many monkey knowledge points as me and they don't have an extra starting 200 cash and now they're behind they're like how come I couldn't start with open so uh, I would like to show you how to spend your monkey points so your monkey knowledge the best abilities um, that I think are the best so to get you guys going on your game so you know what to start with and then maybe um, after everyone's caught up that I can turn my monkey knowledge back on but until then as you saw in my last video I'm not even enabling it because I just want to be more fair to everyone so anybody watching can play. And if you do have monkey knowledge um, enabled, which I think you should, uh, now you're just one step ahead and it makes it even easier when you're following my strategies. So as you can see, I still have 22 left in this top, or you can't see because my big old face in the middle. Let me see here if I can move this. So yeah, I have 22 left still. I don't really use them. So it's not the most important thing to use monkey knowledge. Um, it does help a lot for, for some things, but you don't need it. So like I said, I have 22 left and I haven't even filled any of these. So I'm just going to go over the main ones. Um, if you guys like this and you want to know more about the monkey knowledge, I will gladly make another video going into detail because it's a quick one about the best ones I think you should get. So starting in primary knowledge, the best one is clearly this one right here. Increase starting cash by 200. That lets you get open right off the bat and hard, I think impoppable. You just can't beat it. You can start with the hero right off. You don't have to start with the dart monkey or glue gun or whatever. You just start straight off with your hero. You can start leveling up and it's good stuff. And then below that is start each game with one free dart monkey. You've seen that in most of my videos. I have that and I use it. I put it down. I put them on strong in the very beginning of the map so you can clean out those greens or yellows so my open can you know have less to fight. So that is what I recommend. But to get to this bottom you have to have 10, right? So I would recommend going this way, this way, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and now that's the 10 you have, and then you buy this one. So that's what I would do. That would require you to be level 11 and have 11 monkey knowledge, go for it. That's the best one I recommend. So I do recommend that one probably over, that's probably the first place I would start because the dart monkey helps a lot and the 200 starting cash helps a lot. Military, um, if you have extra points, go for it. You can do this one. I don't use this because I just think it's too much cheating. All Moab, Class Boon, Spawn, and Partial Damage State. It's a little too cheap. Not my taste. But if you guys want to do it, jump on it. Um, I, I might just upgrade that one just to make the little, you know, more advanced maps a little easier. But I don't want to get too hooked on it. Next is Magic. This is this one is important. Um, this is the one that you'll all see in my videos too. It's the Mana Shield. And that gives you 25 lives for free. And at the start of each round, you get another five if you've lost one. So let's say you're on impoppable. You only have one life. You have 25 lives, so now you have 26, right? Simple math. But now let's say two balloons slip by, so now you're down to 23. At the beginning of the next round, it'll shoot back up five, so you're back at 25 again. So it is a little cheap for impoppable, which is why I turned it off in my last video. I wanted to show you guys how to use, how to win without it, so I don't be thinking, oh, he's using cheats or whatever. But um, I would recommend this one just for normal gameplay for fun. It helps a lot, tremendously. But again, you have to have eight points to get there. So I would recommend this path instead of this path unless you really like using your alchemist for, for popping reasons. I don't know why you would. So I would go this way. So go, uh, or this one's better. Guided magic is cool. We use our mage a lot, so go with the mage if you can. And then, oh, I threw this one on recently. I would also put this on if you can. You don't need it, it's not 100% necessary, but you get 10% extra monkey money from each game on any difficulty. I didn't realize that until just recently. I was like, wow, I could have been making more money for heroes and monkey farmers and everything. So put that on as soon as you can, if you have extra money. But I would go this one, this one, this one, this one. So that puts you at four, five, six, and then seven. And then you need one more over here. You can just grab this guy, make it eight, and now you have your mana shield. Because it requires eight points to get your mana shield. I also did this one too. You can go this path. It does help a lot, but um, I don't. You don't need it. So this is for Super Monkey and for your ninjas. You don't really need all that. So just stick with this side and then get one of these if you have to to get that eighth one for your Mana Shield. But Mana Shield, 
Uh, extra 200 starting cash, 100%, and free dart monkey, 100%. Go with that. Support. Do we have support? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So support, you want this one just because it's banana farm. So farm and village cost 2% less and sell for 2% more. Good stuff. This one's even better. Valuable, bana valuable bananas upgrade increase to 30%. Can't help to have more money, right? And then first banana farm each game costs 100 less. You'll see this in all my videos. I don't know if you're paying attention that closely, but all of them do cost 100 less, which is helpful because you want to get that first one quicker, and 100 less money does help a lot. Um, I put this one to get one extra spike, but you don't need it. Next would be heroes. So, do exactly what I did here if you want to. What's this one do? Yeah, do all of these. You use your hero every map. You're always going to use your hero. I don't know anybody who doesn't. And then this is the one that we always see in all my videos. Heroes start each game at level 3. So you're going to want that. It helps a lot. It starts open off already with his with his little brimble patch. I don't know even what I call it. Thorn bush, whatever you want to call it. Starts him off right off the bat with it. Otherwise, you got to wait three levels. So get this one. Get the 200 cash right here. Get your dart monkey free. Get your mage mana shield. And that would be just enough to keep you killing it. And then if you want and have extra money to spend, get this one and it'll make it even the, that much easier. All low of class balloons spawn and partially damage state. Those are your main ones. That's what I use in all my videos in case you were wondering. And so for future use, I am going to enable this in the future. But for right now, we are not going to enable monkey knowledge. And all my videos will be without it to show you guys how to beat it without it. And then we'll step it up once you guys have all the same upgrades as me. And we'll make this even more fun and we'll get through the we'll start treading to these harder levels so thank you guys this was a quick video but i just want to show you how i use monkey knowledge and what you guys should use too and i will see you guys next time thank you